Hi, fourth graders. This is our lesson on character traits. What is a character trait? Well, a character trait is a word that describes a character's personality. For example, brave, kind, bossy, or honest. On your notes taking page, you can fill in in the first blank the word personality. Pause the video if you need to, to be able to write in the word. A character trait is not a word that describes a character's physical appearance. So pretty, tall, young, or freckled are not character traits. On the second line, Fill in appearance because it is not a word that describes a character's physical appearance. Again, pause the video if you need time to write this word in. Also, a character trait is not a word that describes how a character is feeling at one point in time. So, happy tired, scared, or surprised are not character traits. On your note-taking page for the third bullet, that third line, fill in the blank with the word feels. It is not a word that describes how a character feels at one point in time. Which of these words are character traits? Excited, angry, honest, selfish, skinny, or creative? That's right. Selfish, honest, and creative are three of words that are character traits. Circle those words on your note-taking page. Most of the time, character traits must be inferred by the reader. To infer means to make an educated guess based on the things that we're seeing in what we are reading. In the last chapter, Bella almost started crying when Evan told her about how he had found an injured bird on the sidewalk. Now, in this chapter, Bella just told her friend that she was sorry that her grandma died. I can infer that Bella is a very compassionate person. So character traits can be inferred based on four things. Feelings, actions, dialogue, and thoughts. Keep in mind a note about character traits. There are often synonyms for character trait words. Can you name synonyms for the following character traits? Brave could also be fearless. Kind could also be considerate. Bossy could also be controlling. And honest could also be trustworthy. If a character consistently feels a certain way, it can sometimes point to a noticeable character trait. For example, if a character feels jealousy toward other characters at multiple points throughout the book, jealous can be named as a character trait for that character. Let's take a look. Matt was scared to walk through the cemetery a few minutes ago, and now he is frightened by a dog growling. A character trait I can infer is Matt is fearful. So in your notes page, or on your notes page, in that first box, one of the four things that we can infer a character trait on 
It's based on feelings. And we inferred that Matt is fearful. The second one is actions. If a character consistently acts a certain way, it can point to a noticeable character trait. Cassie's grandparents gave her money for her birthday. Cassie decided that the families at the crisis shelter needed food more than she needed a new toy. So she donated her money to the crisis shelter. A character trait I can infer is Cassie is generous. So in our second box, we write the word actions because we inferred from her actions that Cassie is generous. The third way we can infer a character trait is through dialogue. Dialogue refers to the things a character says. Watch for patterns in what the character says to others. Even though Madeline was already talking, Sadie interrupted her to tell her classmates the story of what happened to her over the weekend. Later, she told Bree that her sweater looked old and ugly. A character trait I can infer is Sadie is rude. So on the third box, place dialogue because we inferred from the way that Sadie was talking that she is rude. And the fourth way we can infer character traits are through thoughts. What is the character thinking? Watch for patterns in what the character thinks. Brian decided that he wanted to earn money during his summer vacation. He determined that he could mow four lawns a day. He hung a poster in his neighborhood and soon his phone was ringing nonstop. A character trait I can infer is Brian is ambitious. On that fourth box, thought. We inferred that Brian is ambitious from the thoughts that he had on how to earn money during his summer. What do these character trait words mean? Sly, this type of person plays clever tricks on others. Foolish, this type of person often makes unwise decisions. Diligent, this type of person works hard to accomplish things. And lazy, this type of person does not like to work or exert effort. So let's see which character traits apply to the following passage. Jesse and Andrew were picking strawberries that their parents would sell at the farmer's market the next morning. It's hot out here. Let's take another break, suggested Andrew. We just took a break five minutes ago, replied Jessie. She continued to move down the row, picking ripe strawberries from each plant. I think we should keep working and just get this done. If we take too many breaks, it is really going to get hot out here. Andrew shrugged, suit yourself. I'm going to sit under the shade of that tree over there. Five minutes later, Jessie glanced at her brother. His flat was nearly empty because he had been feasting on the few strawberries that he had already picked. She shook her head in disgust. He is going to regret this in an hour when I have finished my rose and he is still out here working in the heat. So we can infer from this passage that Jessie is diligent. She's a hard worker. And we can also infer 
that Andrew is lazy and foolish. Let's read another passage. Yes, I caught my dinner, said the cat. Let me go, let me go now, screamed the mouse. No way, you will make a tasty meal for me, answered the cat, his mouth already watering. How about we make a deal, suggested the mouse. If you let me go, I will lead you to the mouse hideout. Then, instead of eating one little old scrawny mouse today, you will be able to dine on a mouse each day for the next month. Hmm, he makes a good point, thought the cat. It would be better to know where I could find my dinner for the next 30 days. Okay, it's a deal. Lead me to the mouse hideout. As soon as the cat released his grip on the mouse, the mouse jumped to the ground and scurried through a hole in the wall. Wait a second, what about our deal? called the cat. There was no reply. The mouse had already vanished. So from this passage, we can infer that the cat is foolish and the mouse is sly. What about these character trait words? What do they mean? Arrogant. This type of person thinks she is better than others. Bossy. This type of person gives unwelcome orders to others. Optimistic. This type of person takes a favorable view of events. Pessimistic. This type of person expects only bad outcomes. Let's infer some character traits from the following passage. It was yet another rainy day and Mrs. Hawthorne's students were having an indoor recess. What are you guys doing? Linda asked peering at the papers in front of Amber and Valerie. Amber glanced helplessly at Valerie. She didn't want to answer, but she also knew that she couldn't be dishonest. We are just making some name tags to wear for our reader's theater performance tomorrow. Cool, may I help? Well, we don't like it when you start telling us what we need to do, said Valerie. I promise I won't do that this time, vowed Linda. Linda, oh, sorry, Amber moved her papers to make room at the table for Linda. Linda sat down. She glanced at Valerie's paper. Valerie, I'm not telling you that you have to do this, but I really think you should add a border to the name tag. And Amber, that scribble looks horrible. Maybe you should start over. So we determined that Linda is bossy. Let's read another passage. I looked at your math exit tickets yesterday after school, announced Mrs. Pearson at the beginning of math class, and it looks like the majority of you are still unsure of how to multiply three-digit numbers. Therefore, we are going to review the process today. Alexander groaned. I might as well get comfortable and take a little nap. This is easy for me. I don't need a day to review. Suddenly, he felt a tap on his shoulder. He opened his eyes and looked up at Mrs. Pearson. Alexander, I expect you to follow along with the rest of the class, said the teacher. Mrs. Pearson, I learned how to do this two years ago. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Really? You might be surprised to know then that you didn't get all of the problems correct on your exit ticket yesterday, replied Mrs. Pearson. Alexander is arrogant. That concludes our lesson on character traits. The next thing I'd like for you to do is start thinking about some character, dis some character traits that describe you. I can't wait to hear them.